Wonderful. It's this bit lost lap. and keep your legs straight when you land. <laughs> <laughs> Best way. <laughs> people have asked for a tutorial on how to get maps on their Garmin watch to follow when they go like hiking, walking, running, cycling. So I'm just going to do like a little tutorial on this thing. So firstly, we're going to find ourselves a route to follow. So I'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it. For example, I have one found previously called, I just literally typed in Peak District Walks um, and it comes up with like people that have created them themselves. Um, so basically you're going to go on the website that you found or on OS Maps and find one on there. I'll show you a number of different ways how to do it. Um, so for this one, so if you can see I've got a screen record going, it's called a GPX file. So obviously it tells me that this route is eight miles. And if I scroll down, uh, I can see distance duration and then it'll say GPX file or click for OS online route here. So if you click the OS map, download the OS maps, and it'll come up with the route on screen like so. What you're then going to do then is you can either go download, which is what I normally do, so you've got it offline, and then further down on the left it says export GPX file. So you're going to hit export GPX file, and you're going to go across, and if you've got the Garmin Connect, so download the Garmin Connect app, you're going to go across that, you're going to select it, and then it's going to come up saying what is it, so I'm going to click other because there's no walking. Um, and then it then comes up with the map on Garmin Connect. Um, and then if you scroll down, you can then change the name of the course to whatever you want it to be. Um, and then if you click save, so Hope Valley, this one's called Eight Mile. I just call it Doing Edge. You can then click the top right hand corner with the three dots and click send to device. So I've got 735XT Garmin click that and then it will just say ready to go so that's now sent it to the device so now if we go on the watch like so and you click on the start button and it'll come up with activity and menu click down go down to navigation and then go down to courses so all the courses that I've just saved or have, have on my current Garmin get sent across to this. Um, so the one I did today, do an edge. Obviously just then I called it something else, but do an edge is that one. Select, you can either overview the map, elevation profile, change the name, delete it, or do course, so we're gonna do course. It's showing a zoomed out uh, map right now. Uh, obviously, I'm nowhere near the location, but if I'm near the location, it will zoom zoom right in um, and it will show your position and then it will show uh, a red marker uh, to show whereabouts it is. So that is one way of doing it through OS Maps and sending it. So another way of getting maps or getting a route. Right. So if you download the OS Maps, which just stands for Ordnance Survey, so it's in pink. If I then go and I click on Search, Maybe type in Lady Bower, Lady Bower, Reservoir comes up. 
and then if I go menu at the top left and I click find routes, uh, select walk in, depending on what activity you're doing, click show me routes, and then as you can see, it'll come up with little circles of what people have plotted in the area. So if I click on one of them, it gives you a massive variety. So top one, Crowstone, uh, Fairhome, Backtour, there's, lo there's loads on there, different, and it'll tell you the distance, the time it would normally take, uh, maybe even the difficulty level. So say if I click Crowstone at the top, it gives you an overview of what we're looking at on the map. And again, do the same thing. Uh, you can go download, and then you can do export GPX. Um, again, hit connect, Garmin connect. Okay, it didn't work that time, unfortunately. But as you can see, I've got a list there of all the other ones that I've created. Um, and you just do the exact same thing. So there is one more way of doing it. So there's basically three, three ways to do it. So this way is I'm on a website, again, that has the file. I'm gonna go down to where it says GPX file on its own. Click that and it's gonna say, do you want to download? I'm gonna click yes, download. And then in the top right hand corner, it'll come up and it'll send it to your files on your phone. So in this case, um, comes up and it says Dovedale. So you're gonna click that. Uh, and in the bottom left, you're gonna choose the little share button, the little share arrow, if you're on iOS that is. And again, you're gonna send it to connect and it's gonna do the same thing again. So like that. Send to your device, go on your device after it's downloaded and updated. Sometimes it'll say downloading or updating uh, and then it will send that to your device. So I hope that helped. If it does help, great. If it doesn't, send me a message. Wasn't very clear, it needs to be clearer. I think that was fairly clear for most people. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, cheers.